Hello, my name is Dan and I'm gonna show you today in this video how you can quickly customize and create styles for RAD menu and RAD menu items for Silverlight. So I recommend you first to go to Telery.com to take a look at demo. Get a little bit familiarized with uh, styles and RAD menu and RAD menu items. So I'm gonna go now just to show you what I'm talking about. So these are the different uh, demos for uh, menus. So we have a first look here, which is a normal menu like we are used to, and submenus. Nice. Uh, different types of boundary detection, data binding, stuff that I won't talk about right now. Customization example here, very nicely. You can also can have a look at uh, example behind of this example and the code. So as we can see here, there is some code. I'm not gonna use any code. I'm just gonna add, add items from example. Uh, I do recommend you to download this trial if you don't already have it installed. Not just DLS, this trial, install it. Why? Because it will install you a project template in Visual Studio. So now, let's create a project. File new project. Rad Control Silverlight Applications is a standard Silverlight 4 application. The only thing that has extra is this dialog that allows us to choose the, the DLS that we need. I'm just gonna use these two DLS. Telerik Windows Controls and Telerik Windows Controls Navigation. I'm not gonna use any themes. I got nothing to do with themes in this example. Once the project is created, I will add some images, some icons, because I want to create a menu that will have icons. Add new folder, icons, and here are the images that I want. All right. So as you can see, the images nothing fancy, just some uh, PNGs. Right. Now I'm gonna open this in Blend. And start adding menu item. Okay, first thing to do Rad menu, click and yes. Okay, very small customization here. Save. We observe that when we added the right menu, has added for us right menu items and also some sub menu items. So I'm gonna delete this because I won't use this. Just gonna make a very small edit to this one. I'm gonna edit, create an editor copy, resource style, border, reset, okay. This looks more like a medium. Now, what we probably do next 
is edit a add and edit a style to run menu item so edit edit a copy and surprise nothing happens so don't waste your time trying to figure it out why or put it manually or something just do like this go to run menu right click edit additional templates edit generated items container edit a copy it will create for us a rad menu item style not rad menu style rad menu item style okay so we see that we have here also a part pop-up which is the pop-up for uh, rad menu which is great so you just uh, go go on and edit this as you like from now on everything is normal okay so the first thing that you want to do go to edit template edit current you have here the selection chrome and when you try to edit this you don't have any current or copy so we're gonna add one a button chrome chrome control or whatever i'm just gonna add a button chrome okay i'm gonna edit edit a copy button chrome style one okay now the first thing that i will do i would go to my templates again and apply that button chrome style one also do this to this child so it's already applied because it's using the same item okay so I'm gonna run this we will see that everything is the same okay now we just start editing and you edit as much as you like and edit and make it as you like you can also edit the pop-up from here pop-up rectangle which is this one this one also okay everything else that that you need what i'm gonna do now i'm just gonna copy the example that i've made just to show you uh, an example of editing okay so there it is and you're gonna run this and here is a menu already customized i hope this was useful for you Thank you for watching.